Hello everyone, this is the official tutorial for ScrapStorm. This lesson will introduce the basic knowledge of flowchart mode. First, let's introduce what is flowchart mode. Flowchart mode is the most comprehensive scraping mode in ScrapStorm. It is usually used in scenes that cannot be covered by smart mode. The essence of the flowchart mode is visual programming. By converting complex programming processes into visual click and drag operations, users without basic programming can also create complex tasks. The difference from the smart mode is that the flowchart mode has no requirements for the URL entered. Almost all web page data can be scraped in flowchart mode. If you want to create complex tasks, there is a basic point to understand. That is loop nesting. For example, there is now a URL with 100 pages. Each page has 10 elements. And there are 5 fields in each element that need to be scraped. Then, you only need to set the scraping rule for the first element in the first page. All elements in the first page and other pages will be scraped according to this rule. And this process is a loop operation. The result you see should be like this. First, there is a small loop. There is an operation of scraping elements in the loop. This operation is scraping five fields. This loop can be used to scrape data from any page. The number of loops corresponds to the number of elements, which is 10. Then there will be a large loop to wrap this small loop. This large loop is used to loop through each page. Each loop count is the total number of the pages, which is 100. In the flowchart mode, you can automatically generate components by clicking. You can also drag and drop to build components. But as long as it involves loop operations, regardless of the multiple URL loop, multiple text loop, single page multiple element loop, and multiple page turning loop. All loops are nested. There can be no parallel loops. Please pay attention to this point. That's all for today. Thank you.